Mary said simply, anything that wasn't concrete was flattened. Flooding is also a major worry in Jacksonville, about 40 miles up the coast from here, and Errol Barnett is there. Errol? These sand dunes are meant to protect against the high waves of the Atlantic Ocean, but today they were not enough. Wind gusts of 75 miles per hour sent sheets of rain sideways as the storm moved along the coast of Jacksonville. High surf crashed onto the beach, sending water pouring into the streets. This is the storm surge everyone fears. I've watched over the past few hours as Hurricane Matthew has pushed all of this water up from the ocean up to my shins. All of this combined with the more than 10 inches of rainfall show you just how damaging this storm can be. Utility trucks were deployed to restore power to the more than 100,000 customers without electricity. Half a million people were ordered to evacuate from the area, but Narissa Hickson refused. I want to be with my family. We talked through this, and we want to be here. Florida Governor Rick Scott says residents need to take warning seriously. We are very concerned about storm surge, and the worst effects are still likely to come. Officials here are essentially fighting complacency. It's been 17 years since Jacksonville issued a hurricane warning, and the threat continues. The worst of the water surge and wind impacts in this region, Scott, are expected Friday into Saturday. Errol, thank you very much. Now let's bring in Eric Fisher, the chief meteorologist at our Boston station, WBZ. Eric, what's coming next? Well, Scott, I think there are two very important things to consider here. One, there is no such thing as just a category.